Greetings from the Paradisiac island of Mauritius, a small island of the Indian Ocean located on the southeast coast of Africa. These pictures showcase the island of Mauritius. I am Acha Shakil from the Science Education Department of the Mauritius Institute of Education, which is a tertiary institution mandated for teacher education curriculum development, and educational research. On the occasion of the International Year of Basic Sciences for Sustainable Development, I am pleased to unveil the theme of my intervention, which reads as follows. Basic Sciences as the driver of STEM education for sustainability. To understand the validity of this statement, that basic sciences is the driver of STEM education for sustainability, I will drive you through four sections of this presentation. With the first one, STEM and STEM education, where we'll try to expose what is STEM and STEM education together with its origin, evolution, and conceptualization. We'll then go on to the second part, STEM education for sustainability, to eventually focus on the real theme of my intervention, which is the role of basic sciences in STEM education for sustainability. We will eventually conclude and give time for discussion or question of answers. With that, let's start. What is STEM? This slide does not only show that the S of STEM stands for science, the T for technology, the E for engineering, and the M for mathematics. By the dots that you have in between those different disciplines, this picture depicts the origin and initial conception of STEM which, backed by a political agenda at that time, had a career orientation, where the focus was on discrete disciplines, where the focus was on production of the workforce, that is to produce more scientists, more doctors, more ICT specialists, more engineers, among others. Let's now analyze the origin and evolution of STEM education after having described or defined the word STEM. Actually, from a political agenda, STEM finds its origin at the beginning of the 21st century in the United States, where the term ISMET, S-M-E-T, was introduced by the National Science Foundation to emphasize on what we have been describing, that is on careers in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, which were the need at that time. And in 2001, the American biologist, Dr. Ramali, rearranged the word to form the STEM acronym. So from SMET, S-M-E-T, it was now S-T-E-M, STEM. And from this point in time, the conceptualization of STEM, as shown in this slide, has moved from an enactment orientation to that of an interpretist orientation to eventually give rise to the ed educational orientation, namely STEM education. Since then, STEM-focused curricula has extended beyond the frontiers of the United States to many other parts of the world and is even now gaining a lot of traction as STEM education is not only an approach because STEM education prepares the youth for the future workforce. Actually, analysis of the literature revealed that the conceptualization of STEM education has been very dynamic 
over the last past decades, accommodating different paradigm shifts. The first one was the shift from a STEM education, where the focus was on teaching and learning of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics discreetly as discrete disciplines to produce more scientists, IT specialists, engineers, and mathematics. Then it has moved to a different paradigm showcased by the two middle pictures of this slide, where there is a move in terms of how we bring those different disciplines together. That is how we bring science, STEM, and science, technology, engineering, and mathematics together to form an interdisciplinary and integrated approach to teaching and learning. From this, indeed, we have been able to find a new conceptualization of STEM education. A conceptualization of STEM education where the traditional barriers erected between the four disciplines have been coalesced to form a cohesive, integrated, and holistic STEM education. Where the, discipline, where the disciplines are merged. This STEM education, this concept of STEM education has not only brought the different disciplines together, but it has also opened doors for other disciplines. And today, we have different terms that are being used. When we are referring to STEM, it is not only about STEM. It may be a STEM with an additional M to integrate medicine in the equation of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Then we have STEAM with an additional A to integrate arts in the, in the equation. STEAM to integrate arts, education, and design. And most recently termed STREAM, where the R has two dimensions. In the first dimension, the R emphasizes on the integration of reading and writing in the equation of STEM, where we have the four disciplines, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. In the second dimension, the R emphasizes on the integration of robotics, artificial intelligence, virtual reality, and augmented reality in STEM education. Having gone through those few slides, I believe that at least we have a basic knowledge of what is STEM, what is STEM education, what is the origin, the evolution, and different conceptualization of STEM education. Let, let's now focus on the STEM education for sustainability. Surely there is a difference between STEM education and STEM education for sustainability. In STEM education for sustainability, we are referring to, a, up to an approach to teaching and learning that integrates the four different disciplines and any other additional discipline to develop not only knowledge, but skills, attitudes and dispositions related to sustainable development or sustainability. As you know, sustainability in itself is an integrated approach where different perspectives, different factors are brought together towards sustainable development. And we need to have an education an approach to teaching and learning which is aligned to this concept of sustainability. Till now, one of the best approach towards teaching and learning of sustainability is the STEM education for sustainability. This approach aims to equip students with the necessary competencies needed to address real world environmental challenges, climate change, etc and to create a more sustainable societies. 
you will agree with me that many societies in the world today we are facing a lot of issues a lot of challenges and we really need an education which is aligned to what we are living in the society which is relevant to what we are facing as challenges each and every day so stem education for sustainability involves teaching students about natural system the impact of human activity on the environment but it is not only limited to knowledge it is about education that inspire that empower learners to become responsible stewards of the planet and to make informed choices that will help them to create a more sustainable future for them and for the future generations. After the first two section of my intervention, that is STEM and STEM education, followed by STEM education for sustainability, let's now focus on the theme of today. That is the role of basic sciences in STEM education for sustainability. In fact, in today's context, just like we have been discussing till now, STEM or STEAM or STEAMED or even STREAM, which are the integration of different disciplines such as science, technology, engineering, and mathematics together, are essential for the growth and development of any society. If we are referring to sustainability, we are directly referring to society and the benefits of having a society which has adopted innovation, progression, and development which, are, which is sustainable. In fact, STEM drive innovation create new products and services, design and develop new processes and procedures, and address complex problems, which are key to the creation of a society based on sustainability. Reaching there, a reflection of this expected role of STEM education for sustainability brings me to a key question. What is the role of the basic sciences in the STEM education for sustainability? You will agree with me that for the benefit of the society and to move toward the future by adopting sustainability concept, there is no way out. We need to be able to adopt STEM education for sustainability. But it is much more important now to dissect this STEM education for sustainability, to understand what will be the role or what is the role of basic sciences as the driver of STEM education for sustainability. For the sake of this presentation, I will focus in my intervention on those five axes which are the role of basic sciences in STEM education for sustainability. The basic sciences is the driver because basic sciences provide foundation knowledge and understanding for STEM education to become a reality. The basic sciences is important because it's going to develop scientific literacy, which is key for STEM education and development of STEM skills. When we are referring to scientific literacy, when we are referring to development of competencies, skills, attitudes, all these go back to what we learn in science, in basic sciences, about inquiry learning, about the skills, the 21st century skills, the inquiry skill, the science process skills. All these skills are aligned to what we want in STEM education for sustainability. The basic sciences is also very important 
because it provides career opportunities. And it is the basis of innovation and advancement. Therefore, the role of basic sciences in STEM education for sustainability is genuinely the driver of STEM education for sustainability. Let's take one by one now. As far as foundational knowledge and understanding is concerned, the basic sciences, which includes physics, chemistry, and biology, is not only important, but primordial for STEM education for sustainability. The basic sciences provide the foundational knowledge and understanding of how the natural world works, the interaction between biotic and abiotic factors within an ecosystem, the importance of addressing environmental challenges for sustainable future, and more importantly, the different concepts of sustainability. In fact, STEM fields, which include science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, are actually based on principles and concepts from physics, chemistry, biology, and mathematics. Without this foundational knowledge and understanding, no STEM initiative is possible. As a simple example, a lack of understanding of energy conversion as prior knowledge will surely prevent students from developing a model of photovoltaic system to produce electricity, which can be part of a STEM lesson or a STEM project given at the school. But without the prior knowledge on energy conversion and types of energy, we cannot move to those aspects where we are bringing the different disciplines together. We need science, we need these basic sciences to understand, to be able to develop whatever complex concept in the teaching and learning. Secondly, the basic sciences also promote scientific literacy which involves understanding scientific concepts and theories and being able to apply them to real world problems. A student who study physics, chemistry, and biology gain an understanding of how the natural world works and how scientific research is conducted. And scientific literacy is essential for informed decision-making in today's world where scientific issues like climate change, genetically modified organism, and vaccines are hotly debated. This scientific literacy is very important for any layperson, for any person of the public, for any citizen of the society to be able to understand what is happening around you to be able to understand the challenges we are facing in terms of, epi of emergence and re-emergence of epidemics, in terms of climate change. And all these can only be done by basic sciences providing scientific literacy. Then only we can bring this aspect into STEM lesson, STEM project, to showcase the importance of any concept Thirdly, one of the main pillars of STEM education remains the development of STEM competencies among learners in view of transforming the lay public into informed citizens with the appropriate knowledge, skills, attitudes, values, and dispositions needed to address current and future challenges such as energy crisis, food crisis, climate change, emergence and re-emergence of epidemics, among others. These competencies, often referred as STEM skills, are actually the scientific process skills or inquiry skills. A strong foundation in, bi in basic sciences help a student to develop critical thinking and problem-solving abilities, among others. In fact, Without a solid understanding of basic sciences 
and development of scientific skills, it would be difficult to excel in STEM fields and to make meaningful contributions to the advancement of a society. Let's now briefly explore the role of sciences in developing critical thinking and problem solving before moving to career opportunities and innovation and advancement. Focusing on critical thinking, a strong foundation in basic sciences is essential for developing critical thinking skills. Critical thinking involves analyzing information, evaluating evidence, making logical conclusions, among others, which are key scientific inquiry skills. In STEM fields, critical thinking skills are necessary for designing experiment, analyzing data, and solving complex problems. Moreover, students who have a solid understanding of basic sciences can apply critical thinking skills easily to any field they pursue. So this is what basic sciences is doing in terms of critical thinking and thus in terms of development of competencies needed for the world of work for the future. Focusing on problem solving abilities, basic sciences also provide students with different scenario where they have to solve problems. A student who study physics, chemistry, and biology develop the ability to identify and analyze problems, generate hypotheses, and test them through experiments, generate and analyze data, infer and draw conclusions, and eventually recommend data-driven solutions to problems. These problem-solving skills are essential for any STEM field, where students have to find solutions to complex problems. Here again, the basic sciences is providing the ability to become problem solvers, which is key for the STEM field. Let's now focus on career opportunities. A solid foundation in basic sciences really opens up a wide range of career opportunities for students. STEM fields are projected to grow rapidly in the coming years, and there will be high demand for individuals with the skills in these areas. Students who study physics, chemistry, and biology and apply this in STEM lesson and projects can pursue careers in any field, be it medicine, engineering, big data analysis, artificial intelligence, computer science, scientific research, or any other STEM fields. In fact, the basic sciences provide the foundation for many high paying careers in different fields, especially in STEM fields. The last part, innovation and advancement. Basic sciences are also essential for innovation and advancement, which is key component of STEM education. Scientific research in the fields like physics, chemistry, and biology has led to new technologies and products that have revolutionized the world. Without a solid foundation in basic sciences, it would be difficult to make meaningful contribution to scientific and technological advancement. We can always see the connection between the basic sciences and great advancement and innovation in the world. If I take the example of photovoltaic cell, what is it doing? It is capturing light energy and converting it into another form of energy. This is what plants are doing with the chlorophyll, with the different pigments, with the different photosynthetic pigment. They are capturing light energy and convert it into another form of energy. There are so many, so many similarities, and it is those basic sciences which are the drivers of all these different in innovation and advancement in our world. 
Let's take some examples of how science drives STEM. I will take one example in the field of medicine, one in the field of transportation, and one in the field of energy, though there are many, many more examples. The first example in the field of medicine. Medical science has made tremendous strides in the past century, leading to the development of vaccines, antibiotics, life-saving medical procedures that have improved public health and extended human lifespan. Medical research relies on scientific methods to understand the causes of diseases, develop new treatments, and test their efficacy through clinical trials. The application of scientific principles to medicine has led to a reduction in the morbidity and mortality rates and has improved the quality of life for millions of people worldwide. This would not have been possible without the foundational knowledge, understanding, and skills associated with basic sciences and which has been brought together in STEM education. Another example, in the field of transportation, the development of motor vehicles, airplanes, trains, has revolutionized the way we move, we travel, and we transport goods. Transportation technology relies on scientific principles of motion, energy, and mechanics to design, build, efficient and safe vehicles. The application of scientific principles to transportation in a STEM approach, bringing different other disciplines together, like mathematics, engineering, and also technology, has led to the growth of the automobile industry, the airline industry, and the logistic industry, which are critical components of global economy. Third one, in the field of energy, science has provided the foundation for the development of sustainable and renewable energy sources. The study of thermodynamics, fluid mechanics, and material science has led to the development of solar panels, wind turbines, and hydroelectric power plants. The application of scientific principles to energy has led to the reduction of greenhouse gas emissions, the promotion of energy interdependent, independence, sorry, and the creation of new jobs in the renewable energy sector. You will agree with me that you name any discipline, we will be able to tell you that there are basic sciences and basic sciences principles and concept which is driving the development, the innovation, whatever we have today, and we will be having tomorrow. So basic sciences is undoubtedly the driver of STEM, because STEM is the future of our society. STEM is about bringing everything together under an umbrella. And under this umbrella, the most important part which is driving, which is bringing the other discipline together is science and will be science. On a concluding note, represented by this diagram, you can see that to drive this bicycle, we need basic sciences. So basic sciences is the driver of STEM education for sustainability. To conclude, the position of S in STEM is not a coincidence. As science drives the STEM approach, it drives STEM education, it drives innovation. Thank you very much.